as choice. Sometimes the choice is clear. Other times, possibilities are endless, but the right choice is a blur. Peter Hawkins obtained his major in engineering at Yale, gives up a perfect career opportunity to pursue a life of crime with all of its lavish benefits, hits the clinger three times in five years, and then just vanishes off the face of the earth. A real Sherlock Holmes mystery, if you ask me. Now. Out of the void, Mr. Hawkins shows up at my doorstep asking to join my clan. A vast network of endless possibilities, meant only for a real criminal artist. I ask you, Peter, what is it about this particular community that intrigues you enough to come out of your social hibernation? I've already served my time to my incompetent boss, but there's no reason to be into the art of crime. My ability is to serve better or higher artists in the art crime. And I've heard that you can fulfill my needs. If I do choose to accept you into our family, you'll need to prove your weight in blood. Though, I find your poetry amusing. Above all, remember this. You shall fulfill my needs, not the other way around. For now, you're under probation. Consider the next week as a test. My HR man, Mick here, will introduce you to your first task. Welcome to the initiation, kid. You're to meet me at this location in two hours. Don't be late. Now go get some air. You'll need it. It's a dangerous game of playing, putting you in this position. Don't blow this. The Chief really wants this golden opportunity from you. The Chief should worry less. I'm in. We, we haven't been able to get anything on, on Nessus, and he's not getting any less powerful in this circle. I think I'll fit right in. That was exactly what I was afraid of. I guess we need to know about Nessus. Probably, be, you know, regulations and, uh, uh where are you going? I have a crime circle to take over. You're our new messenger. Get the letter from the dealer. He's in charge of all our missions. Then take it to my friend. He'll be waiting for you at the bench on the National Park. Be very discreet. How will I know this man? He has a mark on his left hand of the Brotherhood. Understood. Hey, Peter, if you screw up this simple delivery boy mission, <laughs> I'll kill you. Ah, oh, yes. Good luck with that. It was my first mission, my first impression. I had to sell the part, else I'd never succeed.
punk. Better watch your tracks. I own this free team. Hey, get back here. I can pound your spiny little head in the dirt. Do not touch me, sir. I said. How was your first day in paradise? Quaint. Good start. Although I think the situation could become dangerous. Well, the chief wants you to go as far as possible. And how far is that? You'll know when the time comes. I started getting better at what I was doing. Probably too good. Sometimes forgetting who I was. That's the problem with my job. Two characters for one mission. Soon I gained more respect and more prestige. I knew we were getting close. I don't care. I already told you we'll get it to you soon. Closer and closer, but I had to keep on working, working and working my way up their ranks. You're about to get a promotion, kid. Are you ready for a real mission? Better not screw this up, rookie.
So who is this we're getting money from? He's one crazy son of a gun. He gets a little trigger happy. So, should I be worried? Two guns against one, no problem. You better have some cash. Unless this is one to wait. No problem. I got this. Stop! Get down, he's shooting! Peter, the boss, he's ready to meet you. I think it's time. I have a meeting with Nessus. Get a team together. Are you sure about this? If you come far enough? The time had come. The objective clear. Everything seemed to be in place. One wrong move, and I was a dead man. Peter Hawkins, I sincerely hope you have enjoyed the little game we've been playing. Letting the clever cop rise the ranks and cause merry mayhem, all while plotting against his betters. Why? Well, we don't need a cop playing at crime. We need a thief, a criminal, who wears a badge and calls himself a peacekeeper. Someone who can't even remember which side of the gun he's on. So what are you anyway? An undercover cop or an undercover criminal? You knew all along! Why didn't you just kill me in the first place? Have you ever actually listened to me? I just told you. We need you. Why don't you just tell me why you need me? Why do we need you? Well... We need the perfect undercover criminal. And how will we get that? Well, well how, how about, about you just do exactly what they, they tell, tell you to do? do.